We're here at ITU Telecom World 2013 in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm very pleased to be joined by John Galvin, who is Vice President and General Manager of the World Ahead Program for Intel Education. John, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. I'd like to start off by talking about this year's events theme. It is embracing change in a digital world. And I'd like to ask you, where do you see the biggest opportunities in that change for the industry and for society? And what are the biggest challenges? Yeah. You know, I think the biggest opportunity is that computing devices are now becoming affordable for everyone. So uh, we're seeing lower cost PCs, we're seeing convertibles, uh, but it's really tablets that are taking the world by storm. Uh, so that means that everyone now has the ability to be connected, to be able to get the information they need. From my perspective, I think it's a transformation in education because devices have now come down into a price threshold where you can really put a computing device into the hands of every child. So it's no longer teaching how to use computers, but using computing devices to actually enhance education. So that could not be more exciting or uh, really more incredible. The threat um, is that people look at it just as a device or as connectivity and that it's really just being distributed to students, but it's not really being used to enhance their education experience. And so what we've been talking about here is that you actually have to look at education far more holistically. Uh, yeah, the devices are in the place that we need them to be, but it's also about digital content and making sure that you have the right content. It's about training your teachers and making sure they know how to use the devices in the classrooms differently than they did before. And it's still about connectivity, the broadband access, and overall being able to get to the content they need, but to be able to collaborate in the classroom and with other students. So very exciting on one hand, uh, but a lot of work to do on the other hand to really make sure that we realize the potential there. So you're really forging a, a culture change there, but it also it's about affordability as well, isn't it? It is, yeah, and uh, it is a culture change. It's, it's a shift. If you think about the classroom, I don't know where you went to school or when, but chances are it was a very similar experience to mine. Uh, you have a teacher standing up in front of the classroom, rows of desks, textbooks, notebooks, pens. Uh, you pass your tests, you do well. Uh, even if you don't pass your test, you keep going. The class moves with or without you. Now, I think our opportunity is to be able to use technology to change all of that. And that's the cultural shift or the transformation within education. It's that you can now learn at your pace or in the way that you're comfortable learning so that you can excel. And it's no longer about rows of desks, it's about pods of desks where students can collaborate and share with each other. And the teacher's not dictating to them, but instead allowing them to go find the answers on their own because they now have a device that will enable them to do it. So um, from an educational point of view, probably the biggest change or transformation in education that I think we've seen in hundreds of years anyway. And in terms of uh, generally, what is Intel in doing to embrace the change? Intel has always focused on education. Um, it's always been one of our key areas uh, from a social responsibility point of view as well as how we develop products and we bring products to market. But we really want to be able to accelerate this transformation and make sure that it happens in a holistic way. And so we're not just focusing on a microprocessor and what that enables, uh, but we're designing devices that are designed specifically for education. They're rugged, they're water resistant, they can withstand the fall off of a child's desk or being shoved into their bag. Um, we're working with software vendors to optimize software for education, and that's not just in the mature markets, but in emerging markets as well, where we're working with their local community. Uh, and the new focus for us is really around content and how do we help the publishers move to digital content faster and that's everything from big multinational publishers to a very local publisher within your community. It's also working with teachers and students to allow them to create the content that really is going to change that education experience and it still comes back to the teacher. Uh, we're developing tools for the teachers to better enable them to be able to use the technology within their classrooms, professional development for them, and we're rounding it all out by uh, how do we essentially engage within the community, uh, if that's a teacher, if it's a superintendent, or even if it's a minister of education, of how we can actually help them solve the real problems around education today. And of course it's all about access as well, isn't it? Access is critical. Um, as a matter of fact, it, it is the critical point um, of can they actually get to the information they need? And, and again, whether we're talking about um, Bangkok uh, or we could be talking about Los Angeles, um, you know, pick a city, any country, the issue is the same. It's really, you have students in a classroom who need to be able to get the, to the information they need when they need it, and do they have the connectivity and bandwidth to do that? And 
In terms of uh, <coughs> events such as these, we're here at ITU Telecom World 2013. I know you obviously attend events like this uh, on a regular basis around the year, but uh, why, what is the, the value of attending events such as this? Yeah, that's an excellent question. This is a different event for us from an education point of view. Um, usually we're attending education events with a lot of educators or administrators of education or IT decision makers for education. That's not the primary audience here. Um, and so we're really talking about education to the people who really can help us solve the last question that you asked me, which is connectivity. These are the people who can make that happen. They can make the investments, they can work with the educators, with the education decision makers, and ideally help us solve that problem. So we brought the education agenda to them. John Gelbin, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you.